1 Timothy 4.12 tells us to set an example for the believers in how we live. You know, we are called to live generously. Actually, we are never more like God than when we give. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave. He gave His one and His only Son. He saw a need and He gave to it. When I think about seed, the Bible talks about this principle of sowing and reaping. If I have these seeds in my hand, and if I close my fingers and make a fist, that's all I'm ever gonna have. Never any more, never any less. I'm gonna hold on to them. But if I release them and sow them and plant them, God will bring forth a harvest. Jesus talked about this in the book of Matthew with the parable of the talents. A master gave one servant five, uh, one servant two, and the last one he gave one. The master went away and the two servants invested it, the one with five and the one with two, and they saw a return on their investment. The last servant, who was given one talent, since he was only given that one, decided to hold on to it, to keep it and hide it in the ground. When the master returned, he said to the first two servants, well done, good and faithful servants. You were faithful with what was given to you. You invested it. And the last servant he actually called wicked because the first commandment God ever gave to us was to be fruitful and to multiply, to live open-handed, to live with an investment mentality. We are going to plant into the kingdom of God. We are going to release what is in our hands so that God can release what is in His. So the question is, what are you holding on to that God is calling you to plant? And when you get to the end of your life, will you have a storehouse full of seed or a field full of fruit, full of the harvest that you planted and that God has brought forth? And church, if we really get behind this idea that we lead the way in generosity, the fields won't be able to contain the harvest. It won't be one field or two or 10 or 100. It will be thousands of people that God has brought forth of lives that are truly changed because we decided that we will lead the way in generosity.